here we go once again. And still. <laughs> well, Amanda, you didn't get the big finish tonight, you know, that you've become known for, but it was a very, very impressive victory for you, very dominant. Um, give, give us your thoughts right now on, on how you performed tonight. It was awesome. Every time that I fight five rounds, I get better the next fight. You know, that was the strategy, was take her down. I know she's dangerous. She's doing this forever, you know. She's striking forever. I just learned striking. I'm a grappler, and I did what I was supposed to do tonight. Is it difficult for you to remain, like, in that focus and stick to the game plan? Because you do have these highlight reel finishes. Is there a part of you that wants to go in there and just throw down with her and see what happens? Honestly, this fight, I want to I wanna just fight to go for five rounds. That was the... That was the strategy. Take her down and dominate her five rounds. It was exactly what I did. The, the only real tense moment we thought was, was the triangle to the arm bar when she rolled over. Can you just give it, let us know, I guess, how tight was either the choke or the yeah. arm? No, that one was tight at all. She had uh, big legs, and she was be able to put it behind, but uh, I, I, I know soon I roll, I will get out. And going five hard rounds like that, I know it makes it tough to turn around, but you said you wanted to defend this belt right after. So right now, before you know, you know how your health is and everything, what sounds good to you is when to fight again? I don't know. I'm going gonna, gonna to relax a little bit, you know, fix this boo-boo here and <laughs> come back soon. All right, last thing for me, Amanda, uh, couldn't help but notice Clarissa Shields was walking around here this week. She was at the weigh-ins. She was here tonight. Uh, she seems to think that – a, a series of boxing and MMA with you. She saw tonight. I think she's not going <laughs> to want anything to do with this. No? What about you? Is it something you want? She, if she want to see me, come to my ward. I'm going to be here. I'm an MMA fighter. She want to see me? I'm going to wrestle the shit out of you and finish you with a uh, jiu-jitsu submission. I want to see how, how she's going to feel that. Amanda, you said that you wanted to go five rounds, but the way you were going for the finish in the first round, it looked like you didn't want to go five rounds. You were going pretty hard. Uh, did that gas you out? Did that, you know, take a lot of your energy away for the rest of the fight, how hard you went to get the finish? You know, when, when I saw, I think I, I, I car her with um, overhand, I think it was the first round, and I thought I'm going to find my distance. But at the end, the... The rounds I saw, she's pretty good with her, her distance. I saw that in our first fight. I know she's very good at her distance. She's long, you know. I don't want to play with this girl right here anymore, you know. And I'm sorry. Help me with the question again? Yeah. No, I, I even forgot myself, so I'm uh, there. No. Was Amanda. You mentioned the triangle. Hang on, no, let, me, let me just fin finish there. So, no, I was just saying, you know, like you didn't want to go for the finish, and I was wondering if it kind of gassed you out by trying to throw those elbows on her. Oh, no, actually, I managed very well the elbows. I saw she was protected very, very well, and then I save it. And I hold a little bit, hold, hold, see if the elbow is there, the punch was there, and a couple of times I, I throw, but I handle myself very well. When I, I get out the first round, I, I look at my, my coach, corner like, I can go more full. He take her down easily. And then just one other question for me. The up kick seemed to be a little bit of an issue for you there. Uh, did she hurt you with the one? I think it was in the third round where she got you fairly good. I, I don't felt like it hurt me. I, I just felt like I was, um, my, my distance in the voice very well. But uh, I think the kick, caught in my, in my arm too, and then my arm absorbed more than anything else. Because I have a bruise right here, and I don't felt the hate anything in my head, but I can be wrong, and if you watch the fight, yeah, I want to see again. But it was pretty good. Amanda, you mentioned the triangle wasn't a problem. Was that because she didn't have the position locked in, right, the triangle from the mount? Were you blocking it? It was hard to see a little bit. Why, wh why was that not a problem for you? What was going on with that position? Yeah, her legs is no always like 100% uh, in the lock. You didn't have it locked in? Yeah, okay. not at all. I think because she had long legs, take her wide to do. And then I, I figured out, and then I roll. And then I, soon I roll, I knew I was... Just a matter of time to, to get out. And we always very sleeper as well. 
right. like she don't be able to get in my arm out there the sweat help her too yeah you always, had it backed out yeah and it was a good you know like it was a good moment the champions made made it in those kind of moments you yeah. know Get out and then come back, moving forward, strong like I did it tonight. Absolutely. Did you did you find that she did anything you didn't expect? Was she stronger or faster, or was there anything she did that surprised you? Actually, she she did everything that I I expect. You know, I knew I'm gonna have a, a hard time to find it because she's very long. Yeah. It's hard to fight somebody like have those kind of reach, and she's very good good at what she have. You know. She's a striker. She's very good. She's doing this for long, you know. I just started doing striking. Yes. And, yeah, but uh, I knew when she come with those big punches, my coach, we, we trained. My training camp was all about that. She's going to come and want to take your head off. The double leg is right there. And then we did it in our whole camp. The drills, uh, everything was about that. And she did it tonight. You look like a great American wrestler in there. <laughs> uh, last, he's go he's gonna get better. Absolutely, I believe it. Last question: When Clarissa Shields came out, she talked about possibly doing a two-fight deal where she would fight in MMA if you would agree to fight her in boxing. Is there a consideration that you may agree to that? One fight. I'm an boxing. MMA fighter. Why she wanna take me from my sport? If she wanna fight me, she come into my world. It's MMA. You know, like, does it make any sense? I, have, I respect her as a boxer, but uh, I'm an MMA fighter. I don't like fight box, you know. I'm, I like MMA. I like, I like what I did it today. If she handled that for five rounds, she, come, 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 come see me. Absolutely. Well, let, let me help you to understand her logic, because I was back here when she came and spoke to us, and she said that uh, she would love to have a boxing match with you, and then afterwards an MMA fight, and she would need – at least six months to a year to prepare. Now. Six months to learn how to defend a takedown? Germany, six years. She didn't even learn how to defend a takedown. You guys saw tonight. Like, they didn't even listen to this girl, guys. So, yeah, so prior to that, she said that she had a meeting with Dana White, and I just assumed that you were already on board with this. So you're saying they have no interest, even if it was a multi-million dollar payday, you wouldn't get in the ring with her in box? Amelia? Multi-million. More, more than that. More than that. More than that. I think that's all I got. Yeah. Amanda, to it, your right. Hi. <laughs> you said that the plan was to go five rounds with her. Why was that? What did you see in her from the last fight that made you want to go the distance? For, for us, because every time that I go longer in my fight, I get better. You know, I know more myself, what I'm capable of. It's second of all, like, what's the thing? Exhaust her, take her down. You know, I know she, she would give up. I know she don't have the answer for my takedown. You should know that. Our first fight was the same. And I'm going to tell you something. She was better in her takedown defending in our first fight. Tonight was, was more easy to take her down than our first fight. Uh, and finally from me, so you have two belts, you've defended the belt. What's next for you in your career as a fighter outside of the octagon? Have you been working with the UFC to do some more promotional bits for you or to do have some more sponsorship opportunities? Uh, I'm very happy with what I have right now. I have my sponsors, you know. My deal with the UFC is amazing, you know. Um, about promotion, I feel like you guys saw it tonight. It was amazing. It was amazing. The fans was like amazing. And what, what else? No, I was wondering, I mean, because UFC is, is owned by Endeavor. It's the, the uh -huh. biggest talent agency in the world. And so are there other promotional opportunities that they're bringing to you as a result of that? Eventually, you know, slowly. I'm a very patient person. I know everything is coming to, together in my life when the time is coming, you know. I don't rush anything. Look what happened. Just doing my job, you know. Just be happy, you know. And two belts, just, just finish it. Just defend my 135 belt. And soon, everything is going to come together. Amanda, here, here. 
fazer em português rapidinho. Vá, vá. É, você veio de várias vitórias no primeiro round, nocauteando todo mundo, e existe uma expectativa é, em cima do que, que a Amanda vai fazer. Você até falou para gente que nem você sabia direito como é que você ia fazer as coisas. Como é que lidar com essa expectativa das pessoas e você sempre fazer aquilo que você fez nas últimas lutas, não tendo conseguido hoje? É, ficar focada no, na, na minha estratégia, né? Porque, assim, a gente não pode fazer tudo o que as pessoas querem, né? Você tem que... Você tem que manter o cinturão, que é o mais importante. E hoje, essa era a minha estratégia. Era ir para, em 25 minutos, lutar com ela e dominar. E porque cada vez que eu, que eu luto é, 25 minutos, eu, eu venho evoluindo bastante com isso. Entendeu? É, a forma de, de fazer o manage do gás... Né? ser inteligente ali para ir os cinco rounds. Tudo isso faz parte é, da evolução do atleta. Então, eu preciso ir para os cinco rounds. Essa luta, eu e, meu, e meus coaches, a gente já sabia. Ok, se eu achasse um buraquinho ali para poder nocautear, eu, eu iria. Mas só que eu não achei. Eu sabia que ia ser difícil para achar. A Germaine é uma atleta duríssima. Entendeu? E quando eu vi que não dava para mim... Eu falei, pô, estou meio, meio perdida aqui, sabe de uma? Vou fazer a estratégia. E aí aconteceu hoje, eu estou muito feliz com a minha vitória hoje, honestamente. E o que, que foi mais difícil para você? Encarar cinco rounds com a Germaine ou ouvir a bronca da mãe que falou para você terminar rápido, você não, não conseguiu? Quem? Sua mãe, você falou para a gente que a sua mãe tinha pedido para terminar rápido, você não conseguiu terminar, <risos> então o que, que vai ser pior, a Germaine ou a mãe? Ah, eu falei com ela, rapaz, desse jeito você me mata, não faz isso mais não. <risos> Mas está todo mundo feliz lá, né? A vitória que é o mais importante. E, e ver a evolução também é importante. Evoluir, saber que eu estou bem no gás, saber que todo mundo está tá assistindo é, o quanto eu estou evoluindo, né? E faz parte. Tem alguns momentos na luta que tem que, ser, tem que ter a cabeça de campeã, tem que ser inteligente, tem que acreditar em você. Aconteceu aquele momento do triângulo ali, não estava encaixado, mas foi um momento perigoso, que é claro que vamos consertar isso, não vai acontecer mais, mas, às vezes, você passa por esses momentos, você tem que estar tá forte para sair. E isso faz parte da mentalidade de, um, de, uma, de uma grande campeã. entendeu? E hoje eu provei, em várias situações na luta, que eu mereço estar tá aqui onde eu estou. Então, eu acho que faz parte os cinco rounds. Foi bom, foi... foi, foi, foi eu, eu fiz feliz. Valeu, obrigada. Oh, pronto? Uh. Obrigada. Thank you.